Hi, my name is Kathleen, and I'm a research scientist at the New York City Department of Environmental Protection. If you're watching this video, you requested a lead test kit through 311. You'll receive a package about this size within five to seven days. Just make sure that your mailbox can receive a package about this size. If not, you may receive a slip telling you to go to your local post office to pick it up. So now that you've got this package, let's see what's inside. Inside the box, you will receive two bottles. You will receive a yellow bottle, which is your first draw bottle. You will receive an orange bottle, which is your second draw bottle. You will also receive a Ziploc bag, and inside the Ziploc bag will be pieces of paper. Your first being your chain of custody form. The second is a step-by-step -step instructions on how to take the sample. You also receive two pieces of brown tape. If you moisten it on the back, it will seal the box. And then last, you will receive a business reply label that you will use to stick back on the box and return the sample back to us. Now that the water has been off in the house for about six hours, you're ready to take your sample. I've selected the kitchen sink. I'm gonna prep the area before I take the sample. So I'm gonna bring over my bottles. I'm gonna bring over a clock, a pen, my chain of custody form that was included in the box, and my step-by-step -step instructions. I'm gonna first pick up the chain of custody form and I'm gonna, in under must be filled by the resident, in section one, I'm gonna fill the kitchen faucet and I'm going to put the date that I'm taking the sample. We are now ready to start with step three of your instructions, which is taking the first bottle. I'm gonna take the cap off the yellow bottle, which is your first draw, and I'm gonna put it underneath the kitchen sink. Then I'm gonna turn on the cold water, and I'm gonna fill the bottle all the way to the top. When it gets to the top, I'm gonna to remove it from the faucet, but I'm not gonna turn off the faucet. I want this to run for about one to two minutes. I'm gonna put the cap on the yellow bottle, and after I put the cap on, I wanna record the date and the time that I took the sample. I'm also gonna record the time that I took the sample in step three on the chain of custody form under bottle one. Now the water has been running for about one to two minutes and you're ready to take your second sample. That means that you are now on step four on this instruction sheet, which is your one to two minute flush. So you're gonna pick up your orange bottle, which is your second draw. You're gonna take the cap off and you're gonna place it underneath the kitchen faucet. Again, you're gonna fill the bottle all the way to the top. When it gets to the top, you can turn off the cold water. You're gonna take the cap and you're gonna put it on the orange bottle. Again, you're gonna do the same as you did for the first bottle and I'm gonna write the date and the time that I took the sample. I'm also gonna write the time that I took the sample on the chain of custody form in section three. Under bottle two, Now that you've filled up the bottles, you're ready for step five, which is basically completing the chain of custody. We want to make sure that the chain of custody form is filled out correctly. Most importantly, questions one through four. So I'm just going to review it again, make sure that I filled out all the information correctly and that it's documented. Then questions five through 12 are just questions about your building, 
Just remember not to use a filter when taking the sample. I'm gonna fill them out. If you don't know an answer, that's okay. Just simply select don't know. At the bottom, we just ask that you sign and you date it, and then you're ready to submit your sample. Now we're ready for step six, which is basically explaining to you how to return your sample back to the laboratory so it can be analyzed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare all my stuff. I'm gonna take the original Ziploc bag that I got, and I'm gonna put the bottles inside the Ziploc bag. Then I'm gonna take the chain of custody form. This is a carbon copy, there was a second page. One copy is for me, and one copy is for the laboratory. So I'm gonna take that second copy, and I'm gonna put it inside the Ziploc bag. And I'm gonna seal the Ziploc bag. Now this is ready to go inside the box that originally came to you. Then I'm gonna take my business reply label. This is a sticker, so I'm just gonna peel it and I'm gonna just put it right over where the mailing label was. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take the brown tape that was given to me originally and I'm just gonna moisten one side of it. See where it's a little glossy? I can take a sponge or I can take a, I can run it under the sink. It doesn't need to be that wet. Make it a little sticky. And then I'm gonna close the box and put it right over the top. This is actually strong enough to hold your bottles. Just make sure that you wet it enough. And now I'm ready to bring this to the post office.